going on YouTube welcome back to the channel I'm trucker Mike and today's video is going to be a video that I've seen quite a few questions about and talked to drivers about now I have a 2021 Peterbilt Ultraloft the fog lights on these things or the driving lights or whatever you want to call them they're crap okay I, I love LED lights all my lights on my truck are LEDs even my fog lights except I have my passenger side fog light doesn't work it, it blew out so I'm replacing them both and I got new LED fog lights they plug right on in now they come with this third wire you see all these you see all these LED lights around the edges that's what this third wire does you can plug it in you can run another wire to a switch to make those come on but I'm not gonna do that the main light is what I want these will fit can uh, KW's not the new ones not the brand new ones that just came out I don't think and these will not fit the new Peterbilt Ultralost the ones that have the digital digital dash because they totally have a different fog light, driving light setup. These are for, two, uh, I'm gonna say the 21s and below. I used to have a 2013 587, these will fit those. So, if it has the round fog lights on it, these are factory replacements. They're not OEMs, but they're, they got the same mounting system. Okay, they'll fit right on in. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna install these. And if they don't work, don't panic. I'm gonna show you, because I don't know if these will work on mine. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of times when you buy these aftermarket fog lights, the wires are switched in here, okay? All you have to do is take this connector off, flop the wires, take, take the blue wire out of its connecting, take the green one out put the blue one where the green one was at went to and then put the green one where the blue one went to and it should work but we'll find out if I have to do that if I have to do that I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that so let's get right into it okay let's install this fog light on the passenger side now I've already disconnected connector now I don't know what size socket is I know it's a 10 in metric that's all I know so now what I like to do first which I've already done is I like to spray the bolts with uh, penetrating oil, loosen them up. So all you gotta do, the bolts off there's three of them or take the nuts off I mean let me see if I can sit down and give you a better angle I 
gives you a better angle. Get the third one off. Now I've already determined that my fog lights don't work. I'm gonna to have to switch the wire. So I'll show you guys how to do that. to do with the nuts that I took off I'm going to spray them with uh, lubricating oil before I put them back on again That's right there. I just spray a little bit of lubricating oil on them so they go back on easy. All right. Now, as far as doing the wires, see this blue tab right here, this the blue piece on the connector. You want to take that off. And I use the little screwdriver, the prime screwdriver that we got back in the days. And uh, just take it off the hook. You'll see what I'm talking about. Taking them off, it comes, it comes off really easy. Just like that. Just put it down. Now, sometimes these wires you can just pull them out just like that okay so this blue wire we're gonna put in the spot where the yellow and green wire is at or whatever color so when you take this wire off put it in just switch it over put it in the next spot now these little red seals just make sure you push them back in after you uh, Make sure the wires are all the way through till it clicks. And then I just take that seal with a small screwdriver and just push it back down. Sorry about that, my uh, little camera died, the battery died. But as you can see, that one's working. And that one's working. Can't really see what they do during the day. So when it gets dark tonight, I'll turn them on and show you guys. But it's real easy. It's real easy to do. Make sure I close my head. Well, that's it. I'm on the side of the road at my delivery. I deliver right over there in the morning. But it's nice out. All right, that's like. All right, y'all, this is what they look like at night. Boy, they're bright. I know maybe the camera doesn't do much justice, but they're white and they match my uh, headlights. But the good thing about these uh, fog lights and why I run them, because I drive at night, is because they shine over to the right more. So you can see the shoulder better and you can see deer better. You see, they shine more over to the right going down the road. But that's why I run them. 
to shine more to the right on the shoulder. And they just look cool. They're white lights. So I will leave a link in the description below to where I got these at. So if you want them for your Peterbilt or KW, then you can get them. All right, y'all. This is what they look like with my headlights on and my so-called fog lights. They're not fog lights, they're driving lights. See, they're white. They match the color of my high, my, my uh, low beams. That's it, that's all there is to it, you know. A lot of people were saying that, you know, even even me, even I believed it, um, that you have to take your truck to Peterbilt and they have to turn it on and the parameters to make the fog light work. Well, that's just not true. Because I, I had my truck in the shop a few months ago and I told Peterbilt to do that and they were like, no. The fog lights work. We don't we don't control the the voltage or the amperage going to the fog light wires um, for 12 volt. So you don't have to take your truck in a Peterbilt to get your fog lights to work because my fog lights work on my truck, and I didn't have to do that. No. So anyway, if you like this video, subscribe hit that like button comment down below what you think